So welcome back everybody. This is not quite the way that I wanted to present the opening of this, vi this video to y'all today, but it's raining outside, which is wonderful. I'm very thankful to get some rain around here. So we're gonna work inside. Now this is the winch off of the LT-15. Ever since I bought this mill, and even before I purchased the mill, I was trying to figure out some kind of a way to make log loading easier. And the reason that I want to do that is every time you make an action on a manual mill more efficient or automated, that I mean that could translate into a couple of more hours of cutting, or it could translate into you going home and having a couple of hours to spend with your family before you just completely crash. Now. Loading logs all day long with this is going to get really, really tiresome, so I want to figure out some way to automate this. The first thought that I had was to, of course, use the electric winch that I already had. Now, the problem that I had with that is I couldn't figure out a good way to get electricity to the winch. I could use the battery box on the mill, but there's no way to permanently affix that. I could use a jumper box, as one of the commenters suggested, uh, a battery box, and that was really the best option, but then I would have to purchase a battery box. I didn't want to have to do that. So I thought of using this DeWalt impact wrench. But then I said, you know what, it's, all that impact action is probably going to end up destroying something. It's going to destroy the adapter. It may hurt the winch, and I just don't want to take that risk. So that leaves us where we are today. One of my faithful commenters, uh, faithful viewers of the channel, Sawyer Rob, said that he owns a Norwood mill, and he actually built an adapter that he can use his electric drill with. Now, I had thought about the possibility of using an electric drill, I just wasn't so sure that it was strong enough to get the job done. But since he said that, that tells me it is strong enough and that I should build my own adapter. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this 5 8 socket, and this is nothing special, it's just a cheap socket from AutoZone, and we're going to build it into an adapter. We're going to make it so that instead of a hexagonal pattern on the inside, it is actually a rectangular pattern so that it fits just right onto this. And that will allow me to use one of these adapters right here to adapt the socket to the drill and hopefully make my milling life a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and get started and uh, see what we can get accomplished. Now if we take a mic to this winch, we're going to find out that the axle on this, this flat part, the width of that is about 441 thousandths of an inch. So you can see here that this socket fits really, really close on there. So what we want to figure out is how wide this flat part on the socket is, one of these hexagonal uh, sides or whatever you want to call it. So let's check and see how wide that is as well. And that's about 405 400, 405, 410, somewhere along there, one thousandths of an inch. So the difference here is about 30 to 40 one thousandths of an inch, so very little. Fits awfully close. So in other words, what we really need to do here is fill in this part right here and this part right here. And after that, we can just grind it and make it to where it will fit onto here. So let's figure out how to fill this in. Here's what I've decided I'm probably going to try to do here. I think I'm going to take this socket and remove the chrome coating from a couple of sides on the inside here. I hope you all can see that. Then I'm going to take the wire welder. I wish I had a, a smaller welder, but I don't. I'm going to take the wire welder and I'm going to build it up on two of these sides right here. And then I'm going to take the Dremel again and flatten it out on the inside until it fits. So it didn't take very long for shiny stuff to stop coming off of there. Now I'm not sure if, that, if that's because the burr simply wasn't doing anything or if the chrome coating on this is just so ridiculously thin that, uh, that that's where it stopped. Either way, uh, I don't know if it's good or not, but we're going to put a weld on it and see what happens. So I really think a MIG welder or something like that would be my better option here, but this is what I've got. So we're going to set this to a little bit cooler and we're going to set the feed uh, fairly slow and uh, 
we'll just see we'll just see what happens I'm sure I'll have to adjust it as I'm going but we'll just see I have no clue how this is gonna work I've never welded a socket before the first time for everything to adjust that. So I've been grinding on this for a couple of hours now, I guess, and it's not real pretty. It's very crude, but I really think it's going to work, and it does fit. It does fit really well. It's very tight. And all that's left to do now is uh, put this winch back on the mill and see how well this works. All right, so we're back at the mill. We've got a log here, and this is really not the best log ever. Uh, it was standing dead uh, several, several months ago. I dropped it, and it's been laying there for a while. Uh, it's got bug damage, but uh, I've been getting some pretty good lumber out of it. Actually, it's, it's just ugly on the outside, but it's a pretty good, uh, it's going to be a pretty good example or a pretty good test subject, I guess you could say, uh, to see how our adapter and our new little, uh, new little system here works. But this log is 18 inches at the, at the large end. Um, and of course it's not going to weigh quite as much as a fresh green log that uh, was not standing dead that was a healthy tree but it's still extremely heavy and I think it'll put our new adapter and drill to the test just fine so uh, let's get this thing straightened up closer to the mill and, uh, and give it a try.
So this is what the finished product looks like. I mean, it's just what you would expect pretty much. It's the, uh, it's the adapter, the drill to socket adapter, and then the adapter that we just made. I mean, really nothing fancy. Let's go ahead and see how it works. I am I'm not gonna lie and say that I'm not nervous. I uh, certainly do hope that this works. I've got high hopes for it. So of course I'm not worried about it getting the, getting the log up to the mill. I'm concerned about it getting it up the ramps. Um, nothing else to do but try it. Quit stalling and try it. I am just <laughs> completely shocked. <laughs> Look at that. So the log got a little bit crooked on the way up, which is about normal. It kind of does that sometimes when I'm just using my hand crank. So we'll just try to, yep, there it went. I cannot believe that. That is amazing. That was worth, <laughs> was worth $6. Wow. Let me give y'all a close-up shot of that drill working before the log gets on up there. Look at that. See, and I can just keep that socket on there, probably. So guys, that's it for this video. I just, I can't tell you how pleased I am and, and frankly really surprised that that worked so well. Um, I, I expected it to work. I mean, I expected it to work up until the log got up onto the ramps, maybe halfway up the ramps. I just didn't think, I just didn't think that the drill would have enough uh, strength to pull it on up like it did. But man, it, it pulled it on up and it had plenty, it had plenty of strength in reserve. And uh, I mean, the, the socket worked fine, the adapter worked fine, the drill did its job. And I mean, good grief, for, all, for all of y'all with manual mills and especially with LT15 goes like this, I mean, it's not super hard to turn that hand crank, it's really not. But after you do it a while, it's gonna wear you out. And I'm expecting this to increase my board footage per hour as well because I mean, that it got up on the ramps, it got up on the, uh, the log deck much faster uh, as well so not only is it going to save me uh, save me uh, being tired at the end of the day uh, it's gonna uh, you know it's it should increase my board footage as well so yeah i mean i just i'm, I'm shocked i'm frankly just shocked at how well that worked thank you sawyer rob you have really uh you have really um really helped me out you have really helped me out with your simple comment on one of my videos so uh, that's that's one of the beauties of YouTube is uh, you know there's a there's a lot of crazy comments that I get in the comment section but every now and then, actually I get a lot of good comments but sometimes I just get some gold comments and this was one of them so thank thank you Sawyer Rob you're the, you're the subscriber of the month here at Fall Line Ridge and uh, I will I will see y'all next time thank y'all for watching.